All right, I know um, a few people have been asking for it. Um, I've honestly been delaying putting this off doing this because I genuinely am still unsure on this, but I've tested this around on the PTS and I think this might be the best, well, potentially for my play style for Stampler, how I'm used to playing it anyway. So the, the Stampler is like, for anyone who's watched me stream and you've seen my previous videos, you know that that is like my character that I have built up over a long time. And just with the jabs now being nerfed to shit, like, it made it really hard to want to play this uh, class again, but I've I've kind of think I've got it down in a way where I can still enjoy it. I tried this on live with this exact build, and it worked fine. I just came on the PTS, and I just thought I'd record it now, actually, just because, while well, I've got everything that's gold here, so you guys can see the max uh, stats, because my the sets I'm using here are quite new sets, and I haven't got them quite golded out on the live server yet, so I just wanted to show you guys the maximum that you guys can do. Um, I'm running this... Death Dealer's feet here as well, by the way, um, hence why my stats are slowly dropping down. Um, but you'll you'll see soon, kind of, what they, they, they're not that far off the end now, actually, to be fair. I'll just, uh, there's like eight seconds left of that, but... Um, Imperial, we're just going to get straight into it as well. You know the usual like, subscribe, the usual shit. So, anyway, so we're going into it now. We're Imperial Templar. Um, we're running the Lover, and we're running tri Trifle Pocket. All right. Um, I find this works out really well. Um, we sit at a quite comfortable, like, 29k health and 25,000 stamina. Um, now that Escalating Feet's gone, you can see that there. So that's it without it, and then Escalating Feet buffs that up even more. Okay, helping up some of our tooltips as well. Um, so I'm really enjoying Death Dealer's Feet. If you don't have Death Dealer's Feet, you can always run... Um, Mark and Ring of Majesty here as well. Bloodthirsty with spell damage enchant there for you guys. And then the other one piece we're running as usual is Curious of the Trainee with health, um, with Tristat and Reinforced. Uh, front bar set, we're running at uh, Order's Wrath. and um, We're actually running Axes rather than Maces because we're going to push into our crit a little bit here. Hence why I'm running the Lover um, because the pen's so low with, with the sets we're using. I use the Lover to gain that pen penetration back. Um, so we've got uh, Axe of Order's Wrath here, Nern Horned and Precise. Uh, one absorb stamina, one charged weapon, and then we've got three pieces on the body, all divines, all try stat enchant. There you go, nice and easy. Uh, back bar set, we got the rest all staff here of rallying cry, defending weapon damage enchant. Uh, two pieces on the ne ne necklace and ring here, so we got bloodthirsty spell damage again, pushing all that up there for you. Uh, then one piece on the body there, light sash, nice and simple, divines, try stat enchant. Uh, we've already discussed death dealer's feet, and then the we're running magma incarnate, divines, try stat on the as the monster set okay now the skills so we're using kind of a generic back bar set here we're using restoring focus extended ritual um help buff up your stamina recovery help cleanse uh, expedition and your minor force from rat uh rapid regen for your health over time you could put resolving vigor if you really wanted to and then our burst heal is honor the dead this uses magicka hence why i you know i'm quite glad we have like a good pool we have like 19,000 worth of magicka this uses 4,000 magic every time we use it, so um, try not to waste it, but it's good there for a burst heal. And then Temporal Guard, which uh, gains just minor protection in the back bar, and like click of a finger, we are out of trouble. On the front bar now, this is the where it gets a little bit uh, controversial, right? So I've gone to Purifying Light as our dot, and Binding Javelin as our stun, which is fine. Um, Biting Jabs, yeah... This grants us major brutality and major sorcery, um, which is why I'm still running it. Um, you kind of have to play the build a little bit different now, where you go for a lot more bursts, rather than you can't just spam jabs anymore. Um, it still reduces the movement speed by 40%, um, but it's it's now by 0.5 of a second, which is fucking pointless. Um, and then our execute is whirling blades and we have this to gain our crit up even more we gain major savagery major prophecy and this is also good for finding any night blades that are in stealth mode and then dawnbreaker uh we're running two fighters guild here which because of the fighters guild passive we get extra weapon damage um so we get six percent from them to be in there which is perfect this is a great aoe stun ultimate as well great for the burst combo all right that's kind of how that runs ahem CP super quick. We've got fighting finesse again, pushes up our crit, and then wraithful strikes just to add extra damage to our attacks. And then ironclad and duelist rebuff to our two defensive CP ones there. Uh, we've got pain's refuge, survival instincts, rejuvenation for the uh, recovery, and then celerity for the movement speed. 
um, which is really good. And then on the other side, we're using War Mount, Gifted Rider, Steeds Blessing, and Rationer on there. Nice and simple. The combo you guys are going to want uh, super, super quickly is um, you're going to buff up. No, you don't need to buff that. That's just a cleanse, sorry. Thing, stun. If you can get used to the timing, you know, it gets... You get, yeah, yeah, you. Then gets into your executes. Alright. Now, along with the burst, that was 18,000 DPS there, which I'm quite happy with. Um, plus, using your ult there as well is going to be really good for you. Wow. I don't know why it's lagging so much when I'm trying to do this. So there you go. Um, as we keep, as we stay in combat as well, our escalating feet is going to keep ticking up, uh, and that stacks up to thirty. So the, that keeps stacking up and up, and our health, magicka, and stamp are going to keep up and up and up as well, which is really good. If you want, maybe not to use Whirling Blades, you could use um, the Radiant Oppression one, which is a really good uh, execute force. But again, it's using magic abilities. Um, really good on the magic Magpla, but... So you can see there now, we have uh, 30 Escalating Feet, and we're getting... That's our stat pool right there. Um... So yeah, that really good, really really good stuff. Um, we get our major minor prophecy up, which takes our spell damage over five thousand. A crit, you know, setting a forty-one percent, which is really good. Our resistance, you know, fully buffed. 23,000. Again, really good. Um, yeah, I, I think it's safe to say you could 1vx with this build quite quite well. Um, it's just them jobs. It's getting used to the new timing of them. So yeah, that 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 is kind of how you need to run this build up a little bit there. All right. Um, quick little outfit check for you guys. Um, this is slightly different than what I run on the uh, live server, but I try to make it as similar as I could. I think the uh, trousers we want to change. I think that's as close to it as I can, but it's pretty much a lot of Hollow Jack. Um, Outlaw Helm. Boyant. Omega I Axes. Rogada Staff. Um, there you go. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, and yeah, so that, like, like I said, that guys, that's that's kind of what I'm feeling is going to run quite well with uh, t uh, Stamina Templar this patch. Um, I can still work, I do believe it. I know there's a lot of people trying to put war builds together for this stuff. Um, I might have a look into doing one that myself. I'll go for like a ranged build. But we'll look at that as the time comes. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching as always. Take care. And uh, if you do enjoy the video, drop a like, drop a comment. If you've got any questions, subscribe to the channel. Catch me live on Twitch, the usual stuff. And I'll see you all in the next one. Take care and bye-bye.